back in March, there was a picture on Facebook of my daughter holding something, and Eric thought it was a marijuana joint, cigarette, whatever, but it wasn't a joint, it was a candle. He called the police for a welfare check, and they come out, and the house was a mess, and they gave me a week to clean it up, but before they come back the next week, DSS come and took my daughter away for having methamphetamine in her system. The police believe me and my boyfriend, Freddie, was manufacturing meth in our home, and we wasn't. The reason the three of us have meth in our system is because we was cleaning up a contaminated trailer that the police busted for a meth lab. Now Eric has my daughter because of his false allegations, and Freddie's been her father since she was three weeks old. I mean, she don't know Eric, know nothing about him. He don't know nothing about her. They making it, making it out like I'm uh, just a horrible mama, and I'm not. I've always been there for my child, and Eric ain't never been there. He ain't never tried to contact me. He never tried to come see me. He never tried to do nothing. He barely paid child support, and it was court ordered. And, and the reason he wants her now and all of this started to begin with is he don't want to pay child support for one and two is taxes and it all comes down to money. And now he's accusing my boyfriend Freddie of molesting her. Freddie's always been there for her. That's her daddy. I mean, they, they just got this bond that only God can break. The only thing I could possibly, possibly be at fault for is my house not being clean. I didn't do the things that they accused me of. As far as Eric, I can't stand him. He's not fit to be a father. I'm gonna beat the hell out of him if I can get out my hands on him. My child was always loved, cared for, taken care of, protected up until she got to Cause I, could, we couldn't be there. How is this affecting you? It hurts. I just want my child back. Steve, DSS met with me about a week ago. They basically told me that they're, they're, they're going to put her back with her mom. They told me basically that she is going to go back to her mom's. Your daughter. After, yeah, after all this is over with. Um, about March the 23rd, I noticed that picture on Facebook. The only way I've actually been able to see my daughter is through Facebook pictures and all that because her mother would not allow me to see her. Um, so basically, I saw that picture. I called the cops for a welfare check. The cops went out there to a house that was completely filthy. The, the, the police report said that there was not a clean spot throughout the home. There was animal feces, animal urine on the floors. There was um, very little food in the house. We got the report uh, from the county dispatch, and uh, it was, uh, they went out there and they w welfare check on your daughter um, after seeing the Facebook, what looked like a joint, uh, with your daughter with a joint. Um, the home was filthy and deemed unsafe and unfit for a child. Uh, broken windows, weak floors, animal feces and urine scattered in the home, dirty plates with old food sitting around, garbage thrown around the home, waste from the toilet ran under the home due to bad plumbing, spider webs and spiders found throughout the home. Uh, your daughter was uh, sleeping in an area uh, was filthy, um, her feet were filthy, her body, um, and your daughter, who's under the age of 10, uh, tested positive for methamphetamine. Yes, that was, two days, that was the day after I got her. They brought her to my home after they saw that. They took her away from her mother. They brought her to my home, and then when they did, they... I mean, this was so bad that they took her out of there, and you have not uh, been in her life a lot because of you say she's moving she, around. She's moved around a lot. Every time I find out where she'd move at, she would, she she would just disappear. When was the last time you had seen your daughter? How old she was? She, she was six months old when me and her mama broke up. How no. dare you accuse me of doing something to my daughter I ain't never done? How? What is wrong with my you? Your, I don't give a damn. You, you ain't done. Me you ain't you. done nothing in nine That's years. Because you wouldn't let me no, do that. No, you wouldn't let yourself you be around. I've got. It all started with he believes he saw a picture of your daughter holding a joint. Was she holding a joint? No, that was a candle. That was a candle. Yes. And w why was it made to look like she was smoking? Huh? She wasn't. That's just, that's a candle? Yeah, you see the flame up above her eyebrow? Not really. Um, uh, okay, Freddie, you ever molest this little girl? Hell no. No? That's my, that's my pride and joy. I that's never hurt my own daughter. daughter. 
That's right. The pride and joy that her, you have living in a, in a, a dirty infested time. trailer where I nobody mean. does a damn thing. Everybody's too lazy. She I'm was trying. Right. I'm trying to help. Right? Plus, but I'm saying, the the pride, the your pride and joy, have your the pride and joy, joy is wall, living in a disgusting, filthy trailer. Plus, working on you other don't work. trailers. She don't work. We're working on both trailers. But whatever little money that you have, buying drugs. Smoking really? meth. Okay. Your pride Who and joy. Your house? Your pride and joy. That's what I thought. He was gone. You ever make meth? He never. You ever make no, meth? No, sir. I sure ain't. So you just go out and buy it? No, nah, he bought none. You never bought drugs? Nope. You never bought drugs? Nope. How do you get them? I got my way. <laughs> what do you want to say about she's now living with you and your husband? Yes. Um, what do you want to say? Who y'all living with? Let them talk. Ourselves. By ourselves. We okay. have three bedrooms. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Just, anyway. Yeah. This youngin came to our home, filthy as can be. I ain't gonna mm, lie to you. Whatever. Shoes had holes all in them. Her clothes were ripped and tore. Yeah. This youngin didn't even know how to use the bathroom. I'd have to go back yeah. and oh potty train with her mama. She didn't know how to do it. Start. Yeah. Eric, you came here and took a lie detector test. Yes, sir. We asked, <laughs> have you ever sexually molested your <laughs> daughter? No. You really haven't been accused, but because you made the allegation, we got to cover this thoroughly. We asked you, have you ever sexually molested your <laughs> daughter? You answered no. no. You told the truth. We asked you, Brittany, did you know for sure your daughter was being molested? And she answered no. And to that question, she told the truth. <laughs> Do you know for sure who molested your daughter? She said no. She told the truth. Regarding your daughter, did you ever sexually molest her? I don't think even I had thought that. She said no. And she told the truth. Regarding the picture on Facebook, did you allow your daughter to hold a marijuana joint? You said no, and you did not tell the truth. What? Really? Really? Did you ever smoke meth with your daughter present in the house? No. No, you didn't say that. You answered, and I'll bring out Dan if I need to. I can't remember, maybe I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did say that. Okay. So we're pretty accurate so far with this lie detector test. Have you ever done any other illegal drugs with your daughter present in the house? And you answered no. no. And you didn't tell the truth. <laughs> Did you ever manufacture methamphetamine while your daughter was present? No. Nope. And you said no. Got a little Walter White on her hands. She did not tell the truth. Really? really? Making right. drugs while your daughter right. was really? present. No, I didn't. Really? Yeah. All right, Freddie, let's get back to you. We asked you, have you ever manufactured methamphetamine while Brittany's daughter was present? And gee, he said no. And guess what? You didn't tell the truth either. Really? Yeah. Uh, we asked you, you said no. You didn't tell the truth. You gave it a joke. Who really? joints in her hands? Yeah. Here's the, no. here's the big one. Here's the big one, Freddie. You're going to make it all look like I'm the bad guy, and I know You're doing a good job I'm all by yourself. I'm the big You're guy. You're doing a good job all by yourself. I don't need to make you look bad. You stand on my stage. Why, You're doing a real good you, job. Why don't you come on over the back? You are say you're a good guy. Did you ever sexually molest Brittany's daughter? Hell no. I love that baby younger better than he will ever love her. You answered no, and you did not tell the truth. Really? Oh, Ricky Wood, come on. Come on. Ricky Wood, come on. Stay with me. No. Really? You know what? I'm All right, get around. He ain't touched her. That's all right, I'll be. Yeah, we'll be. You meth-smoking, dirty-living pieces of really? get off my stage. Get off. Get off. I don't care. The good, the good thing about this story is she's with you. Not, to, not permanently. Okay, but that's a good thing why you came on the show and why they came on the show. Because this show is gonna help you keep your daughter. Okay? <laughs>